All right, so for six sevenths divided by one seventh, the idea is here's a picture of six sevenths. Are they ready to eat? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're ready. And then here's one seventh. The idea is how many one sevenths fit into six sevenths, and the, obviously the answer is six. So if we wanted to change that to two sevenths, and we wanted to know how many two sevenths fits into that. Well, we know that one seventh goes in six times. So therefore, two sevenths, we have to divide by two because there, it's twice as big. So divide by two. So two sevenths, six sevenths divided by two sevenths is six divided by two, which is equal to three. Now, if we wanted three sevenths, well, we know that if it was one seventh, it would be six. One seventh goes into six sevenths six times. Three sevenths, we'd have to divide by three because three sevenths is three times as big as one seventh. So we have to divide by three and you're starting to see the pattern. So if we wanted four sevenths, it would be 6 divided by 4, because that 6 gives us how many 1 sevenths fit. So divide by 4, because we want to know how many 4 sevenths fit. And that's the process. Good.